Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Previously, Robin Sherry left Fallon, Nevada, heading now to Central Oregon and then to Washington State. This would turn out to be a pretty long drive, about 10 hours, and it definitely was paying its toll. Uh, we're not used to sitting in a car for so long, and especially for day after day. So the biggest shocker we got was we actually saw rain. Uh, we don't see that very often. And Cinder was outstanding. She was the most patient dog on this trip. I couldn't believe how well she did. Occasionally she'd sit up and say, are we there yet? And then go lay down again. And she just did great. But later we finally saw some trees and that seemed to perk up Cinder a little bit. I think she smelled the fact that she was getting close to Central Oregon, but fell right back to sleep <laughs> as we were going along. And then we started rolling into Bend, Oregon that day and it was a pretty glorious sight and then here we are getting settled in at sherry's father's place and disconnecting and winding down for the evening but we'll be back on the road the next day Alrighty, guys it's day three or sunday we left on friday and we're actually in central oregon we spent the night there uh, i just saw some pictures there uh today we have about 10 hours before we get to Anacortes, then we'll be done with the long haul. Then the work begins, so we'll be at Fidalgo RV Resort in Anacortes, Washington. And then Cinder's, Cinder's waiting for mom to come back, get us some coffee. Anyway, we're getting back on the road and going from Central Oregon to Washington. So here we go. Well, we've been driving for a couple hours. We're in Goldendale, Washington. Still got a ways to go. Um, stopped at a McDonald's like usual McDonald's <laughs> seems to be the main uh, meal all the time when we're traveling and Cinder's waiting for mom there's Cinder and we still got at least four to five hours of driving once we got across the Washington state border it turned out to be a little bit more of a stressful drive it was very gusty weather all the way to Anacortes and I believe I had a death grip on the steering wheel the entire time. It was a tough drive and we were exhausted. I don't know how long haul truck drivers do this for a living. It's tough business and I have a lot of respect for them. Okay guys, we made it here to Fidalgo Bay. It's about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Real pretty place. We got really nice lots here. And uh, the best thing out here is kind of hard to see. But way down there, you can see the ocean. And that's Fidelga Bay. So, anyway, yeah. Nice green grass. You don't see that often. And uh, tomorrow we get our U Haul and start moving things out of the storage unit. And we'll be here for three nights. So, and there's Cinder. All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye. Thank goodness after that long drive, we have the opportunity to go out to Fidalgo Bay. This is in Anacortes, Washington, and uh, relax a little bit and let Cinder play in the water. It was a long day for her, long day for us, and we have a lot of work to do tomorrow. So this is Fidalgo Bay, right? Yep. yep. So we just got here after driving 1,500 miles. Yep. Four days. Anyway, so the work begins tomorrow. This turned out to be a glorious evening with Cinder, but tomorrow the work begins. We get the U-Haul and start filling her up with all of our goodies out of the storage unit. Stay tuned next episode to see how we pull this off. Hey, thanks for watching Outdoor Travel Channel. Stay tuned for the next episode as we load our stuff into a U-Haul trailer. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. See you later guys. Bye.